go select, bring to selection, choose what you want to light up. I'm going to choose I'm trying to find an actual individual ah there's one and right now it's all about actually finding the actual a ring but it's so badly um hmm. you can use the live selection tool for this part I guess you just go around to each individual sell and click it so this it's a bit time consuming, I know, and it's fairly boring, but that's what modeling is. Um, far out. Okay, so all you have to do is go up to the top. You can drag and just go around if you really want to rush it. And that's something I get. But you have all the time in the world, so I don't want you guys to rush it. If you do like create something, you can send it to me, and I can give you feedback if you think it's sick. But yeah, now you want to grab your softbox and you just want to drag it onto the thing. And as you can see, it gives a really nice um, glow to it. And that will come up on the actual um, model and the render. So now we're going to go down to where I wanted my platform to be. Go back to Molly and click it and just drag the softbox on again. So that's just going to um, illuminate up onto the tune logo when we add it. So now we are going to use the tune logo and we're going to drag the two um, materials that we used. We're going to undo the visibility. We're going to drag it. And as you can see, the tune logo is not as big as this is. No, not as small as we wanted. So you want to, you can just drag that down. So I dragged it half its size. I'm going to see what it looks like. And I'm liking that. And you can just play around with the center. I'm just going to find it. Quick center. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to make the actual cylinder bigger as well. So it's going to be a big render. You want to just drag it. Drag and drop to wherever you want. And now with Therousy, I've taught you in the other tutorial to use the text, but mine is just you just highlight, go to Therousy. Plug in Therazi, I do 18 pieces, break. You're just going to have to wait, so I'll just come back to you when it's 30 to 100. Alright, now that Therazi is done, all you want to do is drag and drop the same as my other tutorial. So if you need to figure out what I'm doing here, I'm just going to do it quickly and because it is in my other tutorial and I'd rather you watch that than this and not understand what the hell is going on. So that should be doing something. I don't know why it's not. Extra nerves, effector, random, down, deformer. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it a polygon because I like the style of that. I'm gonna get two, one, and three. As you can see, it leaves a really nice cracked effect, but that doesn't actually have any lighting in it, the things. Um, and for some reason it's saying it doesn't have anything on it, which is frightening. Um cut outside, what does that mean? I'm just gonna check something quickly. Okay, so for some reason this is stuffed up and it actually hasn't taken the materials that I've wanted to use. So I'm going to have to go through it all and just drag it all over the pieces. So I'll come back to you in just like a minute. Yeah, as you can see the actual um, materials themselves have stuffed up. There's no actual reason to go if this happens to you to get annoyed and not save your work because all it is you need to drag the materials you need to delete the actual materials that were there and you need to drag the materials that you want to be actually on the um, tune logo on itself 
or on your logo or whatever you want to do. So yeah, I'm just going to add the soft box here. So I'm just going to find little things. You don't really know which one to do. So you just keep changing. I'm going to go up for every two. As you can see, that's the back That's the back layer. So I'm going to go further to the front to my here. here. And you just fool around until you find some pieces that you actually want to be highlighted. So as you can see, the front one's highlighted, but I didn't really want that one to be highlighted because that one's too far ahead. So I'm going to go to the backing logo. It's a bit further back to about here. And you, I'm trying to get to the actual side of it. So in the middle here. And I don't recommend actually just dragging and dropping it because it happens a lot to me and it actually stuffs up. And as you can see, I've just done the front one here. I didn't want that one. So all you need to do is delete material and it will disappear. Or maybe not. Thank you, Cinema 4 for being such help today. Okay, so now you've done that and you're happy with your cracked logo and everything with your model itself. So now all you have to do is place your extra gnomes back into one actual folder. Same way as you did before. So null, random cylinder, objects, group objects. And now you can rotate all you want to have a nice style. I'm going to finish it off with adding a light, a spotlight, and or a target light. Either one's good. I'm going to use the target light. Actually, no, I'm going to use the spotlight. No, target light's fine. I'm going to drag that down. I'm going to rotate it so it faces. Actually, I'm just going to use coordination. Go to coordination if you want to change the light. You know, zero, zero. If it will let me, but it's being a bit of a turd today. Oh, spotlight. All right, just get rid of the spotlight because then it won't actually allow you to do anything. Drag it down and drag it to 90 degrees. I'm just going to put the actual null back to get your light. Drag it down. I'm going to make it a bit uh, smaller by going to coordination SY. Just dragging it down. Might be S. No, it's SY. It's not doing what I want it to do today, which is stupid. Okay, um. As you can see, my whole thing's lagging a lot. T. Put these all back to one. Don't move them around. And if you want to edit it, just go boom. It's not Y. Yeah, okay, it's Z. So you put that to 0. Point. So 0. Point 10. And then drag that to where you want it to be placed. And I want it to be placed on the spotlight down below here. So I'm just going to drop it and drag. And I want that light to be a different color. So I'm going to go general, color, and I'm wanting it to be blue. A nice blue. So it gives a hint of blue. Oh, it's not even in my thing. I thought it was. So as you can see, you can just replace it and just drag and drop to the very center. And now I know it's in the center. Cool. And it's giving the logo a really nice blue, blue effect, but it's a bit far. I don't want it to show all the way up here. So you just pull it back a bit. And there you go. It highlights that logo, which is pretty cool. Now you just click on light, rotate to whatever angle you want it to be. I'm going to leave it about there. 
my coordination, my camera is just going to go to zero again. And this is the kind of logo you would use to the so a different side of your um, background. And now we'll come back, we'll just put the render settings on again, and we'll come back when it's done, I guess. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Well, no minutes yet. And this is what we've ended up with. That was a 40, 40 minute render because the first one, the tune logo came out way too small and I didn't like it. And this one is a bit better. Um, probably could have still gone a bit bigger. But as you can see, that's come out pretty clean. I'm really liking the style and the bottom bit. Um, I'm really liking the base of it. So we're just going to finish up here quickly. And I'm just going to say that. The tutorial, and so now you want to go to Photoshop, okay. um, you want to open your the PNG or whatever you did, and I'm just going to edit it now. So, finding my layer, I'm just going to add a drop shadow 10 to 2. 30% opacity and out of glow, so wherever you put it, the actual, um, it gives a nice, really nice feel to it. Um, I sometimes put a bevel in, 25 opacity, it's our highlight mode, and the shadow mode, 25, with a depth of 50. Um, and that's about it. You can add a gradient and a couple of other things if you want to make it look a bit cooler. Color dodge, 40%. Actually, 30%. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go to my textures, and I'm gonna get a couple of other textures to add over it. So graphics, uh, textures. I'm gonna get steel, stainless steel. I'm gonna go a little bit cracked. Find a couple of cracked ones, so such as that one and that one. So we've got these really nice stainless steel backings. Yes. Yes. Alright, so now you've got these, you can just add it over the layer just by alt clicking over the top. And as you can see, it's come across really nicely. Some textures work and then some don't so you just gotta muck around like that. I'm gonna go to overlay I'm pretty sure. Overlay 80%. Um, I'm gonna add a, another one. And you just keep mucking around till you find a really nice style that you enjoy. I'm just gonna twist this one around because I want to crack it at the top. Down. Oh, it's not overlay. No, that one doesn't work out too well, so I'm not going to use that. Get rid of that. Watch out. It's going to add another crack to layer onto it, so. Anything that really catches you fancy, it works. And so yeah, you can just muck around until you found a really nice look for you. I'm not enjoying too many of them, so I'm just going to lighten up the blues on it. If you want to re get a really nice um, blue effects or your color effects, you can go to Posturize. And it just gives a really nice effect. Um, and also brightness and contrast, just the like brightness down, the contrast up a bit, darkens the whole place. And yeah, as you can see, if you change the resolution while an output 
of Cinema 4D, you get this really nice style and it comes out really in high quality. So yeah, um, yes. Um, I'm just going to finish off quickly by adjusting one more. This is for only for Photoshop CS6. It's called the Color Lookup and it's basically they give you a gradient. Um, so you do the same Alt Tab, but then you've got 3D Light, Abstract and Device Link and you can just click on these and they're really good. I like, they give you some really nice CCs, especially when it's at very high quality. So that one looks like it just gives a really sick um, film stock. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. I'm just going to go to about 40 because it brightens it up and just makes it look really sick with a um, final top shop of a photo filter. So, where's my photo filter? Boom. And I'm going to use the color and it's going to be blue. Really nice. And then, yeah, so that came out really well. I thought that wouldn't. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it helped. Please drop a like, favorite, comment, whatever you want to do. Please subscribe. We've got like 1.2k inactive subscribers, which is a real bitch. Something just happened then. Um, sorry about the story, but it's really annoying when you've got 1.2k. And they're like, none of their channels have closed down, but they're just not watching the videos. So yeah, um, yeah, hope it helped out. So, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Please, uh, and one more thing. If you do happen to like work on this and find something that you do enjoy, please just send it in and I'll check it out. Yeah, cheers. Speak soon, guys. Peace.